Namaste babies, my name is Illy B. Drink some water. AK Rabambi Reads, and I'm here to do a collective message. Welcome, welcome. And so this will be attached to all videos. Thank you so much for all the love and support you guys give me. The more love you give me, the more love I can give back to you. And I love love. That's why my name is Illy, because I love you. Duh. <laughs> So, this video will be attached to all the videos because this is the cards that came out as I was connecting with the Collect Hive. So, we have Magmar, Fighting Energy, and Squirtle in Reverse. So, with Mars and Retrograde, I feel like there is this fighty energy here. Um, and very sporadic, very fiery energy, I would say. So, with Magmar here, so fire punch and flamethrower found in the mouth of volcanoes. This fire uh, breather's body temperature is nearly 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. So, volcanoes are very sporadic energy and with the mouth this is being mindful about how we speak right because there our words are very powerful and very potent they are spells right why do they think they call it spelling right so being mindful right and it's about taking this fighting energy and directing it into something else, right? Instead of, you know, anger is a very beautiful emotion that we need to feel through, right? I'm not telling you not to feel that emotion. Ask yourself why, right? It shows us what we are passionate about, right? But it's all about remaining grounded and slowing down. What a lot of people don't know is fire is also very balanced, right? So in my elemental, work um for those that are very lethargic you know need that push and inspiration we will connect with the volcano dragons right but for those that have too much fiery energy we go down to the earth core dragons because they're very grounding Choo choo, right? <laughs> um, so, pushing forward and moving through those emotions. So, with Squirtle here, um, there may be um, not wanting to swim through those emotions, but as a collective, things are coming up and out, right? 2020 has been just. I'm going to leave it like that. And remember how I said in the beginning of the video, drink some water, right? Waters represent emotions, right? Emotions. So it's about moving through those emotions. So it says cute, po um, cute Pokemon that charms people with its innocent eyes. Love swimming all day. But since that's in reverse, it's more so... What I'm also getting is, you know, right now we are in Virgo season, but we're ushering in Virgo season, right? What did, what did I just say? Virgo season? Libra season, right? Libra season is ruled by Venus. It is that love, right? And we're just, you know, flirting and all that good stuff. But like I said, don't try to... Uh, hide from your emotions by continuously finding x y and z to distract you so that is the collect hive message and we'll hop into individual elements and then their signs afterwards so stay tuned all right namaste water type pokemons um 
Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, whatever planets you choose, because I am just taking a stroll in your reality here to deliver a message, Pokemon Sea style. So first we will do the collective message and go into each individual sign. So there will be a new moon in Virgo. So what new moons show us is that it's empty and it's for us to fill in and our intentions right so taking the vibe of virgos it's about setting a routine setting goals for us to accomplish right harvesting the fruits of our rewards by taking those actions so Hop right to it into the collective message already. Paris Fact came out in reverse. So this is just whether you know, so energy is fluid, it could already happen to you, is happening to you right now, or will be happening to you in the near future. So pretty much this right here is you just removing any and all things that do not resonate with you for those that have been leeching onto your energy. And pretty much, yeah, you're done with it. So, collective message for water sign. What if I... What if I the message for water sign. Yep, energy removal. That's exactly what I said. Okay, so again, just more emphasis you are pretty much embodying goldine over here so this is the queen of cups into row to me so it's tall thin but was like an elegant ballroom dress giving it the nickname water queen so this here so traditionally speaking the queen of cups is you know she has one foot in the water and one foot out right she knows when to emotionally give and when not to so this is these people situations things that these are just lessons for you to learn right to for you to go through those trials and tribulations in order for you to become goldian right because before we might have over given ourselves right and not received anything in return now the lesson here is knowing when and who to give our energy to, who to give our cups to, who to emotionally fulfill, and if they are filling our cups right back. Any other collective messages for water signs? Okay, we have Professor Oak in reverse. And Yankee. Can I get some more? Can I get a clarification on Professor Oak, please? Ooh, interesting. Okay, Magmar. So that came up during um, the over collective message for everybody um, or whoever it resonated with. So we have, yeah, Magmar and Bellsprout. So what I'm getting here, sometimes Professor Oak to me does represent Thor energy. Look at that, so funny. Bottom of the deck, magma again. Cool, awesome. So extra fiery energy. You might feel some fiery, you might feel some passion, some anger towards this situation. Hmm, just are you. Okay. Right? Um, okay, interesting, there's two different messages here. So for those that tuned into the collective, Oversoul Collective message, right? It has to do with, it's found in the mouth of volcanoes. It's the fire breather's body temperature is nearly 2,200 degrees. And then this magma here, it says, its body always burns with an orange glow that enables it to hide perfectly amongst the flames, right? To me, that's hidden in plain sight for those that need to hear it because, okay, these came out kind of stuck. So, hidden in plain sight right you guys have been kind of hearing the message but I feel like you're kind of ignoring it 
right? But the message here is to listen to those messages because your guides are kind of upset with you that you aren't listening to it. So that there's an extra fiery push there, right? And it's going to be even more brought to your attention and brought to light. So, but like I said, whatever you're feeling about this situation, it is for ultimately your path, your growth. So it's star you. At night, the sun of its body slowly flickers with the same rhythm of an, a human heartbeat. And I remember that glow here. So just this is just a reminder for you to stay in your heart center. Again, this is a star. This is you. This has everything to do with your own heart and taking those lessons. And also the message here is don't fight fiery with fire and don't have this like fiery manky energy here. Um, extremely quick to anger. It could be docile one moment, then thrash away the next. So with Mercury, oh, not Mercury, sorry, Mars, in retrograde, it's to be mindful, right, of our words. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that's funny. Um, found near the mouth of volcanoes, right? So the mouth is how we speak. Volcanoes are very sporadic energy. Being mindful about that, coming back to your heart center, right, and living from your heart. Of course, speak truth, but remember, our words are powerful and to stay centered as all this is going on. So thank you for that beautiful collective message as we go into each individual sign. I need some water. Okay. This is Cancers. Cancers. Cloister. So, when attack it launches its torn in quick volleys, it inwards and never to be seen. So, I feel like this is you saying what you got to say and then moving back. To, okay. Uh, interesting. So, this kind of reminds me of a yoni. I feel like for some of you, it don't matter if you got a yoni or whatever you got. I feel like this is just kind of like a, re like a revenge fuck. <laughs> or just... Yeah, like... One last time, say what you got to say, and then leave. Get that head, get that bread, then leave. Then leave. <laughs> okay. Um, so, interesting. So, literally, um, Capricorns got this card. So, for those, some of you may have Capricorn in your chart. Um, we're dealing with a Capricorn placement. So, can we get some more information? Wow, literally the same cards as... Who else got this? Anyways, it doesn't matter. This is, um... This is Cancer's reading anyways. So... Kangler, in reverse, the large puncher has 10,000 horsepower of crushing power however it's huge size make it un um weirdly used so i feel like you guys are realizing the power that you do have right because like cloister here it says you know it pretty much it launches and then it leaves so i feel like this also has to do with ego Yeah, so it has to do with ego as well. So this is pretty much you, right? Crab ham hammer. This is like your energy as well. Whether 
it may be yeah whatever this situation here is is what this is can I get some more information oh we didn't even do pat rat excuse me I feel like right now you guys are very just like because that's what I'm picking up on energy speaking okay so Pat Rat he uses food stored in its cheek pouches they could keep watch for days they use their tail to communicate with others so with this card here because it's in reverse for those that okay so it says it's it's it has its food in its mouth it's watching right very like watchful bodyguard energy here which is okay yeah um but this is in a reverse i feel like this is about you letting your guards down because right this is in reverse you've done the work to protect yourself you've done everything you need to do this energy is removed right you had your last words you're realizing how to balance everything right because it and so with this yeah so because of that you letting your guard down in order for you know these tables to be filled look at him he's kind of sad right there's like no supporters but this is in reverse so this is telling me that they will come but learning how to take those walls down because you've learned these lessons you had your fat last word and pretty much yeah awesome thank you all right bonus message for cancers because i forgot to leave it in here so the reason why the supporters aren't here is because there's still some stalkerish energy right just like on lookout whether it may be checking in this, on this person's social media or checking in on old friends and stuff like that so really fully releasing so you say it's just like one last conversation one last fuck one last whatever but are you really is that really true so however the message may resonate with you so just letting go fully because there is still an energetic cord there because like yes you may not be physically in contact with them but by checking in on them whether it may be checking on uh youtube channels about you know tarot or checking their social media you need to fully let go in order for these supporters to come in for this new energy to come in so once you do that, that's when it'll come in and let go of expectations of how and when it's going to happen. It'll all happen divine timing. I suggest doing some cord cutting as well and just fully just releasing. I know it's easier said than done, but you got this booby. I will. I also have this cord cutting meditation that I listen to occasionally when I need a snip, 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 right? And I'll post that in the description below. All right, thank you so much, Cancers. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cancers. Cancers, Cancers. All righty. Next up, thank you, Cancers. We are doing Scorpios. 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 Wow, meow. Yeah, y'all are focused on your money. Money, 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 money. Paid day. A door circular objects wander the street and on a nightly basis to find loose change. This to me is focusing on your creative projects, money endeavors as well. I had to lift up my mat and look underneath for something. So you'll be finding abundance anywhere just double check to places that you won't look right um so and also being grateful 
about the money that's coming in. If you find a dollar, if you find a quarter, show gratitude and that gratitude will build. So. Scorpio messages. Oof, too many cards. But that wants to come out. Or else, finding energy. So, pretty much, things. If things were in the dark, it's about to come to light. It is highly attuned to the emotions of people and Pokemon. It hides if it senses host hostility. So. So yeah, like I said, things are about to come to light. With you being a water sign, of course, it's a feeling Pokemon. So therefore, like, you know, water signs are all about the emotions, the feeling, the intuitiveness, right? You are very empathic in this realm and all the realms, pretty much. And you notice there's a sense of danger and you pull yourself back. But you're about to emerge yourself out of this darkness and into the light and able to bring and alchemize those emotions as well. And to me... This is about knowing when to stay and when to go, when to fight the fight. This isn't about making, this is telling me because it's, you know, came out stuck that not to make rash decisions. I feel like you have to wait until it's fully pushed through. Okay, anyways, due to its relaxed and carefree attitude, it also, um, often bumps its head into boulders and <laughs> boats its hull into swimming. So it's so funny because I was literally going to say with this, you might have to butt your head through it in order for you to go. It's again, knowing intuitively when to do it and when not to do it. So um, in order... To it has to swim, so it's a fish Pokemon. Yeah. So this is all about you pushing through to the other side and swimming. It stores thermal. Okay, with Dugong here, it says stores thermal heat in its body. It swims at steady eight knots, even in intensely cold waters. Yes, eight, the number eight of abundance, the infinite flow. This is a reminder, even when things are cold, right? You're still moving. There's no such thing as lack. It's only a matter of your perspective. Perspective, What's in your reality, what you feel. Changing that will allow the flow to come through you. You won't be in cold waters for long. You won't be hidden in the dark for long. This too shall pass. Okay. okay that was a beautiful message for Scorpios. Thank you, Scorpios. Okay. Moving on. To Pisces. To Pisces. That's me. That's my sign. Anyways, so Pisces, must for Pisces. Must for Pisces. Tangelo. Interesting. So what this is telling me is just entanglements. Whether that's entanglement of your thoughts, entanglement of all the things going on in your life, right? Its whole body is swapped in around vines. It has similar to seaweed. These vines shake as it walks. So just like seaweed, those are fine in the ocean. You guys are a water sign. So this may be an entanglement of emotions as well a 
It's so funny, side note, I like these fairy lights that I have were so tangled that I tried to take them out. But I couldn't with my help of my lovely girlfriend who happens to be a Scorpio. Star me. Okay. The center core glows with seven colors of the rainbow. Some people view this core as a gem. So this is you. You may feel like this right now, but you know that your core self is this beautiful energy, right? These emotions are for are being brought up for you to detangle them and to align yourself, to align those seven chakras so your kundalini right can flow. This tanglement might just be your kundalini just rising, right? It's the snake that's it's a sleeping serpent dormant in the root of your chakra. And once it awakens, it's able to flow effortlessly. So it's about you realigning yourself, right? Star me. This is about you. It's about recovering and moving through, right? You might be feeling overwhelmed because all the things that are coming up, right with mars and retrograde it's for you to face things head on in order for those to be removed and to really align with yourself with the mission right the star card this is about your purpose right any other messages for pisces squirtle in reverse in Zubats. Okay. While flying, it consistently emits ultrasonic waves from its mouth to check its surroundings. So I feel like for those, yeah, I feel like I know there's okay. There you go. Pisces and full moon that happened whenever it happened excuse me, that happened during Virgo season, it caused this tanglement here. And what I'm getting with this is using your voice to communicate how you're feeling, right? It's okay to ask for help, right? Asking for help and using your throat chakra in order for you to really help yourself detangle, to really align yourself. And with Squirtle here, cute Pokemon that charms people with its innocent eyes. Less swimming all day long, but this is in reverse. So I feel like you guys are starting to like, yeah. People are starting to see you for who you really are. And that's not a bad thing, right? Because some people think Pisces are so innocent and so cute, you know. But that you are the two fish, right? The light and the dark. There's You're multifaceted, right? And with the collective message from the beginning, I feel like a lot of people won't like that and they will move away from your field and that's okay. But overall... Because it's like swimming all day and it's in reverse, this is you really not wanting to swim in your emotions for you to dive deep. And that's why you're all tangled, right? The tanglement wouldn't happen if you allowed yourself to feel those emotions, even though Pisces is a water sign and it's all about emotions, y'all could still turn it off just as easily. So it's about turning them on and really focusing on like what needs to be tang detangled at this moment. So, and there is a little rune here. It's Radhu in reverse. Be mindful with driving. Please pay attention to the road as well. Um, and be extra cautious. You know, there might be some road ragers, you know, just be extra careful. That's all, be precautious. Do everything that you can to make sure you're okay. You know, double, triple check for doing X, Y, and Z. So, yeah. Anyways. So, oh, well, last but not least, we'll put Diglett here. This is you emerging, right? You coming out, turning on those emotions. Look at those flowers that have been blooming. All of the, because of the help of you. 
It lives about three feet underground where it feeds on plants and roots, sometimes appears above ground. This is you coming out right and facing these emotions. Anyways, I love you boobies. Thank you so much. Please like, share, comment. Um, I'm hopeful this resonates. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it resonates. The more love you give me, the more love can be, be brought back to you. And yeah, I'll leave my tip jar open. All tips and all donations are appreciated. And whatever you give to me will come back to you times 10. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day.